Hey guys, what's up? It's Mac. So yeah, today I am three months on testosterone. Can you believe it? I can't. So I am still feeling really good. I'm still on testosterone injections, 100 milligrams every other week. So as always, I'm just gonna run through my changes. All right, so I'm just gonna go through the list of things that I've been experiencing from the very beginning up until now. So here we go. Acne and oily skin transferring to my back and a little bit on my chest. It's gross, I hate it. It's not that bad, I'm over-exaggerating. I'm still very tired, I'm sleepy all the time. My body temperature is like, oh. I still am having to, you know, wear more deodorant because I am a teenage boy. <laughs> I was having a lot of mood swings more towards the beginning when I was maybe like one month on testosterone. Um, I haven't been experiencing that very much anymore. However, I'm very irritable. It's like, I feel like my constant state is like irritability. Um, so like with work, I get very irritable and I get home and I'm still like tightly wound and then I'll be like talking to anybody and I'll just be like, what do you want? Or I'll be standing in line at the grocery store and I'm like, hurry the heck up. What are you doing? It's not that hard to do self-checkout. It's self-checkout. It's easy. Patience is a virtue, young Macklemore. Patience is a virtue. I wasn't very hungry when I first went on testosterone. However, um, when I was maybe like two and a half months on testosterone to now, it's like my hunger isn't like constantly hungry, but I have found that like if I'm in a situation, like I can eat a lot more and like I'm not getting hungry. And like it's just like my stomach is kind of never ending. And maybe randomly like once a day, like at, after work or something, my hunger will be like spiked. And I'll be like, oh my God, I gotta put as much food into my mouth hole as I can. So another thing that happened last month, two months on testosterone, is that Shark Week, having a period, dropped. So I haven't had a period since I start, well I did when I, like the very first week I was on testosterone, I did. But then I didn't after that. So I am just, you know, praying to sweet Jesus that that does not come back. Sweet baby Jesus, hear my prayers. Another thing that everyone was telling me, you guys were telling me last month, was number one, that my face shape was changing. So I guess it like my fat or something from my cheeks maybe is making it slightly more square. I can't really tell, like I'll post some pictures, but I don't know. Some people are saying it is, my friend Cam is saying that it isn't, but all of you are saying that it is. So I don't know, I don't know. still getting more hair everywhere so like on my thighs like I'm seeing hair that was never there before I'm starting to get more hair on my happy trail right here I'm getting like slight amounts like maybe of more peach fuzzy kind of things on my back and a little bit on my chest it's kind of weird I've even started noticing like the other day I was shocked because like you won't be able to see this but like on my fingers right here you can't even see that probably. And on my toes, like there's hair there. And I'm like, what the heck is this nonsense? So now I'm thinking about my stomach because happy trail. So my stomach before starting testosterone was obviously like, you know, my torso was shaped more like an hourglass and my abs, I didn't have abs, but like it looked almost like I had abs. Like from doing literally nothing, like flat stomach looked kind of muscly, like it was one of my best features. And now it's like, I think fat is maybe redistributing from maybe my thighs, like I can't tell, but something, maybe the food that I'm eating is going to my stomach. So it's like, I'm not really gaining weight really, but like, there's like a slight extra layer of something over my abs, I don't like it. Speaking of muscles, I didn't mention this last, um video I forgot but my muscles you can't even see them they're not defined but um are becoming like more dense so like I don't even really work out I can feel my muscles a lot like they're really hard <laughs> something really interesting and I think noteworthy possibly is so a lot of guys that go on testosterone like even complain that they can't cry anymore um 
I think that's really interesting because I, I don't really understand why, but like they'll want to cry, but they literally physically cannot cry. And so I was kind of hoping that that would happen for me. Not that I'm a big crier, but I hate crying. I don't like crying people. I don't like crying. So though, I have experienced that on an occasion, I was able to cry like between two and three months on testosterone. So I think that's kind of noteworthy. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna lose my ability to cry. Dear sweet baby Jesus, help a brother out. One thing that I'm like starting to feel, at least when I swallow, is like maybe the slight beginnings of an Adam's apple. So let's see if I, how can I go about doing this? Like if I, you won't be able to see this. If I swallow, we're gonna see what happens, okay? Are you able to see anything? Probably not. My friend Cam has noticed, he told me the other day that he thinks my neck is thicker. Like, you know, thicker this way. Um, so I think that'd be pretty cool if my neck was thicker. I can't really tell. Something really cool was that a friend of mine who had literally just found out like the day before that I was trans, no explanation, all he heard, birth name is now Mac, that's a boy's name. That's all he heard. So I walked into this restaurant that we were all going to, this big group of my friends. I walked in and he's like, your shoulders are a lot broader. Like, are, have you been working out? And I'm like, no, I haven't, but I'm on testosterone. So thank you, my shoulders are broad, okay. So then of course, the last noticeable change is my voice. So it's been dropping, dropping, dropping. I don't know if you could, if I've done it yet in this video, but my voice has been cracking a lot recently. Um, so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> my singing voice has kind of followed suit. So it's dropping, it's cracking a little bit. I still have my high range. Um, I can reach all the high notes that I could pre-testosterone though it is in my head voice and maybe not as much belting out of my chest voice, but then I can go lower like an interval of a fifth lower than I used to be able to. So I'm gonna talk more about that in my singing voice update. Go check that out. Now let's reel my voice comparison. Hi, my name is Mac and this is my voice pre-testosterone. Hi, my name is Mac and this is my voice two weeks on testosterone. Hi, my name is Mac and this is my voice one month on testosterone. Hi, my name is Mac and this is my voice two months on testosterone. Hi, my name is Mac and this is my voice three months on testosterone. If you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and comment down below. Share this video and my channel with your friends and if you haven't followed me on my social media, the links are in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.